Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to make a quick video here, talking about the future of the channel and uh, where, where's the Mortal Kombat content? Where's the regular stuff that I usually post that I haven't posted in forever? What's with all this PS4 gameplay? I know there's some people who don't even give a shit and don't watch my channel anymore, and that's perfectly fine. But for those of you who do, and you're watching this to see what's what's going on with the future of the channel and I don't even know what I'm going to title. It's either going to be the future of the channel or where's the Mortal Kombat videos. So one of those titles you'll probably see uh, up there or maybe I'll forget and make a whole new title. But I only have 15 minutes so I can't sit here and talk forever. But I will say, uh, where's the Mortal Kombat content? Well, what Mortal Kombat content? What has come out? Uh, there's only been like two things. The possible cancellation of MKX on PS3 and 360 which I don't really care about that kind of stuff anymore because I have PS4 and for the longest time I've had PC so I even though the PC port was shitty I mean either way I've been on next gen for a while I don't really care that they're not releasing it and I'm not just being selfish and not thinking of other people guys you've had almost two years to upgrade to a console um, Xbox one is like 350 bucks right now there's really no reason why you couldn't have saved up money, especially even since Mortal Kombat was released. You know, from April all the way up till now, you could have saved enough money to get a next-gen system. Okay, it's been, what, five months since Mortal Kombat X came out? You're telling me you couldn't save up $350 in that time, right? Let's just calculate that at $5 a day, right? Five dollars a day, five times thirty, just for hypothetical sake, thirty days in a month, that's a hundred and fifty dollars a month, five dollars a day. Now you could cut that down and you know, cut it any which way, but let's just say five dollars a day, right? At five dollars a day, five times thirty, hundred and fifty. 150, you do that for three months, you got your Xbox One. You know, of course you gotta still buy the game and everything, but again, trade in your old system, save for three months, you could have had the next gen system and the game by now. Right? Even if you can't save five dollars a month, you can't save even two dollars and fifty cents a month. Or uh, you know, two dollars and fifty cents a day for a month. You know what I mean? Right? You, you can't do that? You know, I understand people have bills to pay and everything else, but, you know, there there is ways you could put back money. I know some people are working paycheck to paycheck, and, you know, that's unfortunate, but at the same time, though, there are people out there who could save and don't. There are people out there who smoke cigarettes. That's, what, $6 a pack now, I think? You know, look at how much money you're wasting that. Look at, even if you don't smoke, look at how much bullshit you waste on stuff like fucking McDoubles and shit. You know? You could end up buying a little bit cheaper at the grocery store. Maybe not eat fast food as much. Maybe cut down and have a diet. Um, you know, there there are there are ways you could save money. There are th ways you could cut down on things. You know, to save the money. You could just have a jar that just says, this is for my next-gen system. And put it in there. You know, you could gather up the change that's around the house, go cash it in, put it in your console jar. You know, you could sell your old system and games, especially if you're going that poor in that ghetto and you have to sell all your shit to get a new system. That's, I mean, I, I shouldn't say it's ghetto because there's a lot of people I'm sure that do it. But that's how those people got to next gen. They sold their fucking PS3 or 360 because they knew it was shit. It's like, why would I need this anymore? If I want to play the newest games, I'm going to need the newest system. There you go. So, I just don't see why people thought... I mean, it's not that the consoles couldn't run MKX. That's one of the big things. People are like, oh, but the consoles can't run MKX. Bullshit. If they can run games like fucking Skyrim, and fucking, even though they're Skyrim ran, ran like shit on the PS3, but let's just even put in a hypothetical situation that it could run GTA V. That's a huge fucking game. You're telling me Mortal Kombat, a 2D side-scroller fighting game with some action going on in the background? You can run MK9? It's, it's the same fucking engine. It's still Unreal 3. 
they put a little bit better, higher quality textures in, in the new game, in the current gen version. But that's just because their graphics hardware can take advantage of it. That's the only difference. It's not like, oh, these are totally like different spec machines. So again, that's been bugging me. The other thing is the uh, the other Mortal Kombat news was James Wan directing a new Mortal Kombat movie, which I just recently bought Furious 7 like a week ago, and I didn't mind it. I mean, I didn't hate the film or anything, but everyone's overrating James Wan up the ass, saying how awesome it'll be to have him to do Mortal Kombat and how awesome it's going to be and all this other shit, and then... If you're anything like a real Mortal Kombat fan like myself, and you followed this shit, you followed getting a third Mortal Kombat movie for as long as me and, you know, all the other hardcore, old-school Mortal Kombat fans like myself, you know, you can name a handful of them on YouTube. We've been following this shit for years, and we don't even care. You know why we don't care? Because we've heard this shit over and over and over again. Heard this shit with fucking Mortal Kombat uh, 3 coming out shortly after Annihilation, but it flopped so fucking bad, and they were going to have an alternate ending with Quan Chi, and I guess do like an MK4 style storyline. Then there was some other storyline, I think, with Jax. Then there was a bunch of ideas that have been floating around with this fucking movie. Then they had Mortal Kombat Rebirth, and... I guess that was supposed to inspire something for a new Mortal Kombat movie. Ended up spawning Legacy. When Legacy came out, I think by 2015 we were supposed to get a Mortal Kombat movie. Two seasons of Legacy and then a movie. Two seasons of Legacy happened. Second season of Legacy kind of flopped. And Kevin Tetron, the guy who directs the whole shit, he doesn't... He's... I'm out. So, and then apparently we're having a third season. I don't even know what's going on with that because I don't really care about Legacy that much. But my point is, Legacy wasn't that well received, I don't think, with old school fans. I think there's a lot of new school fans that like it, and if you're an old school fan that likes it, it's fine. But my point is, it's ver been very stretched, and the, the promise of getting a Mortal Kombat movie is bullshit. Have you seen Furious 7? Those fight scenes aren't really that great. I mean, there's tons of people who would tell you those are mediocre fight scenes. You're telling me this guy's going to... Oh, but that's right. He did Furious 7. That had some fight scenes. And he had Ronda Rousey in his movie. So he, he has good taste in fighting. I mean, I'm sure this is just some harebrained bullshit ideas these people have. And then, oh, but he's into horror because he did Saw and the Conjuring. And Insidious or whatever the fucking films he did. So now it's like, holy shit. Now we have all these things... So he's going to be great at it because he'll put fatalities in it or some shit. And I'm sorry, guys. Putting fatalities in a Mortal Kombat movie, it's going to look fucking stupid. Why else do you think they haven't done it? Other than maybe saying fatality when they defeat an opponent or some shit. You know why they don't put fatalities in here? Because it look fucking stupid. I'm not... Oh, my God. I'm sorry, but there are some people who want some of the stupidest shit out of this franchise. One of the things, I want fatalities in a Mortal Kombat movie. Are you fucking kidding me right now? It, it would look stupid. Trust me, it would look stupid. It wouldn't look right. I just, I don't know what to say to that. As far as the future of the channel is concerned, there, there's the two fucking Mortal Kombat updates. I'm sure people want to know my opinion on it. The final thing, what's up with the channel, whenever the hell I feel like uploading shit is what's up with the channel, pretty much. Um, I've just been so busy with work that I just, I haven't had time. I don't get nearly the views that I used to. Even then, I was kind of getting lowballed on the views back in the day. The fact that I don't have uh, unlimited time, which means I have to do it in 15 minutes, sucks. So I can't do the videos the way I want to, which is why I'm like rushing this. Like, if I had my time, I'd probably have spent a good 10 minutes on that PS3 360 bullshit. And 10 minutes probably on that James Wan shit. But I just don't have the fucking time anymore. I've got to kind of rush these videos now. And not that many people watch them anymore, which I don't really give a fuck. Because YouTube has been a dying hobby for me for a long time. So I really don't give a shit. 
and I don't care about pissing people off because it's just my opinion. I've pissed people off in the past. What the fuck ever. I don't give a shit. Um, you don't have to agree with me on things. It's fine if we disagree. Um, I'm sure everybody's going to call me every name in the book for saying I don't give a shit about James Wan. I think there's other people that could do it to do it better. Granted, I'm not a movie buff, so I don't know names. But, you know, how about the guy who did Shawshank Redemption? I heard that was a pretty bloody as fuck movie and from what I understand it's a fighting movie again I haven't seen it because I'm not a movie buff but that sounds like that would be a good good version for Mortal Kombat if you want to do it right I guess you know but they're never going to capture the charm that the old one had because it ripped off you know Bloodsport and the Enter the Dragon it's not it's not really going to do anything you know it's there they'll have a fucked up storyline or they'll have something bullshit and they'll fuck it up because it's Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat, unless you're following the original storylines, MK1, 2, and 3, even then Annihilation still fucked it up. But even then, you, you don't follow any of those storylines that, you know, the master John Tobias made, you know, and you go off these bullshit, make your own fucking fanfic bullshit story, then that that's where you get this shit from. That's where you get these failed Mortal Kombat projects and failed Mortal Kombat stories. And shit that doesn't work. It's like MKX, why it had a lukewarm reception as far as the story. Because nobody cared about, oh, we have to play everybody's family tree. You know? I wasn't I didn't hate it, but I didn't really think it was that special. I didn't think it had the same impact that the MK9 story did, which was kind of a spin-off slash reboot of the original timeline. We should make some money on this. Again, some people will know what I mean by that, but you know, it's kind of like that. So, I don't see any hope for a new Mortal Kombat movie. I don't see any hope for the PS3 and 360 versions coming out. I don't even know if that's legit. That's just what I heard. People were like, it's canceled. And then I seen some people being like, yeah, it's really canceled. But I haven't seen anything, so I don't even know. But one, one credible source that I follow, he did say that they were canceled. And usually he doesn't make a video on something unless... It really is, and, you know, he has ties to Warner Brothers and NetherRealm and stuff, so, you know. I'm sure if he put it up, then it probably is true. If it's not, okay, fine, you guys get your old versions. I think it's shitty that they promised it and then took it away, but I'm not surprised at the same time. So, that's the future of Mortal Kombat and the channel, you know, and what I, my thoughts on everything with Mortal Kombat. Um, just gonna go ahead and end the video 13 minutes in. I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Peace.